Do I need to say anything? It's all being said. Hello guys, we are just waiting in the queue. We've arrived at the airport. Even though there was an accident, it was a nightmare getting here. But we actually made it. So now we are just waiting at the check-in to check in our bags. Look at this. This is Terminal 4 boarding gate for Etihad. Look at all of this. All these people here are congregating together trying to get on their plane. It's a mishmash. Look at it. That's the Etihad side to Abu Dhabi. And I don't know what this side is, but it's just an absolute melee. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Terminal 4, crap. Look at this. Look at this. Absolute mess. Look. The place is an absolute nightmare. Look at the queue here. Rubbish. Yeah guys, the plane's an A380, so it's a massive plane, and uh, yeah, if you look at that wing there, got a massive wing. Look at that, you can see it there, massive wing. So before the plane actually moves, this is the look of the screens, they're quite large. Welcome. Yeah, and they've got another large tablet type screen here. Can you see that? Some buttons there, and they've got a coat hanger there, and a plug if you want to plug in a charger. They've got like a key paddy type thing here. I don't know how to get it out. Uh, excuse me, can you put that up there? Sorry? Can so, you put this back up there? Yeah, if I can't space, yeah, of course. Sure. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so that's the screen, quite large. Seats are not too bad, quite roomy. So as far as space is concerned, it's not too bad. No, it's not connecting. Here we go, guys. It's coming and going. I don't know if you can hear. No cool at all. Oh my days. This is what I've got for six hours. So six long hours. There is a crying baby. An absolute nightmare. This is it. Yeah. This is what I'm in. I did not book my flight. No, Bombay is the final nightmare. destination of the layover. Do I need to say anything? It's all being said. Mm. Hello guys, it just gets from bad to worse. We've told you, we've been waiting here for approximately two hours because we cannot get a slot to depart Heathrow. So we'll be here for, I don't know how, just spoke to an airline hostess and she said it could be less or could be more than the captain stated. Two hours. As a normal woman, I was yelling at so that 2150. Two hours of the plane sitting on a plane to enjoy During that time, anyway. I'm talking to you from a toilet. Etihad A380 toilet. Still haven't moved. Nearly, God, nearly pushing one and a half hours, and we're still stuck at Heathrow Terminal 4 and we haven't moved an inch and I'm finding peace and quiet in the lavatory can you believe it peace and quiet in an Etihad lavatory because the chap next to me is rabbiting away to someone on the phone swearing giggling laughing fidgeting he's doing my head in I thought the crying babies and kids were bad enough but this bloke is just driving me crazy. He's a nightmare. Oh my God, I've got the worst seat. Well, maybe, I don't know, do I want to be next to crying babies? I don't think so, but anyway, I can hear them a mile off, so I might as well be sitting next to them. 
But I'm sitting next to a big grown ass man who's one of the worst on the whole play. And he smells, his armpits stink. Oh my God, he, I don't know when, oh, does he know about underarm deodorant? Has he tried it? He couldn't have because he was, oh anyway, I won't go into the grotty details, but he smells awful. Anyway guys, let me get back to my seat. Because people will think I've got the buns in here because I've been in here so long. Oh God, what an awful flight. It hasn't even started and it's terrible. The plane hasn't even flown in the air yet. Oh. Well guys, can you actually believe it? We're actually moving. <laughs> Uh, two hours, seven minutes, okay. we've just yeah. decided to go. Oh good, first time this has ever happened to me, in all my flying days. Just taking off guys, 12.20. Very, very late. Abu Dhabi Said Airport and we're at the transfer don't know how the hell we're gonna get through to get to our flight in about 10 minutes but hey we'll see so uh, yeah this is it so they got some fast checking stuff here so let's see how this goes quick guys because we have to Go through. We're at Sheikh Saeed Airport. It's quite grand, as you can see, in all different shapes. Look at that. It's a very grandioso place. Lots of shops and everything. Very quiet place. It's not the most busiest of airports, as I would say. Got a McDonald's here. Although we ain't got time to stop, we are not stopping. Hello guys, yes we made it onto the other plane to Bangkok, just about. We did it in about 15 minutes. We had to run the last section, as we were one of the last passengers to board this plane. Anyway, yes we're here, and it's kind of like I've never left. It's like I feel I'm on the same type of plane same noise wow we're at Savanabumi airport bangkok we made it and we got our flight to manila wow talk about cutting it tight isn't it mo that was a right one Ooh. wonderful place wow just gonna go to our boarding gate now because we ain't got no time that's the problem when you've got a short turnaround time. You don't get to see anything because you're rushing to board. So that's the problem. But hey, Mo is telling me to update my phone. I wonder what that's about. Got some Wi-Fi here. It's the Lorda Prada Dior Lancome. Wow, wonderful airport. But I'll have to do a video when we come back because we just haven't got no time in it, Mo to go to the um, food court as well there's a food court but we ain't got no time so but look at that Burberry Amiga all the top shops are here Montclair hey sounds lovely Montclair Mont Blanc all the M's are here perfumes but again 
we're not stopping off at anywhere because we've got to go to our next flight the last one which is manila wow great stuff we've done it it was a right palaver with quite a few hiccups one mainly being departing heathrow terminal four two hours seven minutes late that's the main thing we're supposed to leave at 2150 and we left two hours seven minutes late not good so uh, world of watches wow i wonder if you can get a rolex daytona here or a submariner they reckon they block you even when you go to a shop like here they're not in stock so it's to sort of shorten the market to keep the prices high second hand market high world of watches yep there's Panerai there, Bretlin, Time Zone. Wow, all the watches are here. It's on the lower brands. So, uh, where are we going, Maha? F4, we're going to F4, six minutes. So, uh, okay, yeah, we're on the right way. F4, F1, F6 there. Six minutes walk. Look at the duty free. What do you reckon now, Steph, compared to Heathrow? What do you reckon? Let's get me bag on properly because it's sliding off my hand. Right, that's it guys. I got it on properly. I must look quite bedraggled. I am knackered. Oh, we left Saturday night at 6 o'clock UK time, 6 p.m. I should say, UK time. Got stuck in one massive traffic jam going up to Heathrow because there was an accident and it was a right mess. It was awful. So we got stuck there and then got to the airport checked in and waited on the plane for two hours seven minutes before it moved not good then when we got to abu dhabi we had 15 minutes to get from the plane just well 15 minutes from when we got off the plane i should say we landed and you sit there for about 10 15 minutes just waiting to get off and then we got off the plane and we had 15 minutes to go on then to get to the other bit it was an absolute nightmare absolute nightmare sweating like a pig when we got on the second flight to bangkok so now we're just going to get a quick bite a bit of burger king so i'll catch you guys later yeah okay what do you want we're on the last leg we're on the home stretch we're on philippine airways to manila and it's running approximately 10 to 15 minutes late not as bad as two hours seven minutes but still late all the same still waiting there and then we got to get a grab taxi to my daughter's watching me <laughs> stephanie's looking at me watching me babble away then we got to get a grab taxi from manila to the bus terminal and the bus terminal to pampanga where we'll get jeff and the gang to pick us up so yeah that's it so I'm just going to chill out now and uh, get a little nap as they say. We'll be arriving maybe about half three in the morning. Supposed to have got there at five past three but now we're running a bit late maybe half past or whatever. But yeah that's it guys. So I'll catch you later. Hey guys well welcome to the Philippines. 